Hello cookbook friends, today we're going to be looking through Mission Vegan. I believe this was asked for by one of you, so let's go through it. So here's just a glimpse of what it looks like on the inside. There's a lot of cool photos, I'm really excited. Uh, and there's a lot of cool recipes in here, uh, including a whole kimchi chapter, which I'm very pumped about. I love kimchi. So here is our table of contents. So we have soup, stews, vegetables, of course, other sides, pickles, rice, sauces, sweet treats, noodles, dumplings, and ingredients as well in the very, very back. We get a cool introduction to our author, and then we move on to the actual recipes. So our kimchi chapter has step-by-step -step photos, but it also has some unique recipes. This is a watermelon kimchi. I've never heard of that before, and I'm really excited about it. Uh, so it says on the very top here that, yeah, watermelon kim kimchi is a little weird, but we're going to do it anyway. Um, it says one of my favorite styles of, I can't s pronounce that, mul nang mian, cold cherry buckwheat noodles and cold broth comes with both kimchi and a slice of watermelon on the side. So we get like a description of where this recipe comes from. And then next we have our ingredients in bold. There's also a note here, and it says weights here are important, and you can see why, and it guides you. Then we also have our list of instructions plus additional tips on the very, very bottom. So that's really helpful. More kimchi. So many cool kimchis. Radish watered kimchi. Let's move on from kimchi because not everybody likes kimchi. This is a uh, dilly dandelion green I've, I don't think I've actually ever had dandelions. Here's our different pickles, which look awesome. I know my husband would totally dig these uh, pickled jalapenos in a soy, it looks like soy sauce. Looks bomb. Here we have tartine tofu pickles. Sweet and sour seaweed pickles. So that you can get like that awesome fishy umami flavor and pickly acidity. Dried mushroom pickles. Dried mushroom. Oh, I guess they would absorb everything. And now let's move on to some sides. I love this giant spread. And the random car here is cracking me up. Okay, so here we go. Look at this. It's so pretty. Lots and lots of color in this cookbook. Oh, something I forgot to look for. I'm not seeing any page numbers associated with these recipes, but let's see. It is right next to it, luckily. So this one is a sweet and sticky lotus root. And then behind it, this is a kimchi marinated broccoli rave. That looks good. I have a whole bunch of friends who are debating on going full vegetarian. So I've been kind of like experimenting and trying to see exactly what I'd want to make for them. These are mung bean, mung bean pancakes. And it looks like there's a hollandaise sauce on it. Um, it's a garlic sauce. Ooh, here's our vegetables chapter. That was really short sides chapter. I must have skipped a lot. Here we have a mushroom bulgogi. And that looks really pretty. I love the flowers on the top. Steamy mushrooms. Let's move to something a little bigger. This is a whole eggplant maison. I don't think I've heard of that before. What is that? It's a... Israeli dish it looks like yum watercress salad with acorn jelly so a lot of these I've never even heard of I didn't even know you could do acorn jelly mapu tofu is a classic in my household so I'm excited to try a vegetarian version what is this it looks really good so I think we're in a soups section spicy silken tofu stew wow look at these this is like a really playful cookbook, if you couldn't tell. Seaweed soup is what you saw before. I do like just how fun it is. It's approachable. Chilled tofu in peanut milk. Yum. Here's noodles and dumplings. Look at that huge table spread. I want to know what that purple rice is. I think it's rice or it's noodles. Here we get step-by-step -step photos for some of these recipes, which is really helpful. Hand-torn noodles in hot pepper broth. 
Moving on, we have here, I'm losing some, oh, here, I found it. Cold buckwheat noodles with dragon fruit ice. That's totally interesting. Pasta pomodoro. This is a Samyang salad with sesame yuzu and shisho. Peppers, yum. Kimchi dumplings. Look at that beautiful table spread too. I, oh my God, the plates are just the different decoration options in here are hilarious. Fragrant ch chili fried rice with herbs. And I'll do a few more here. Let me skip ahead to a few of these. We have spicy sticky rice cakes. That's an awesome classic as well. This is sweet sticky rice lotus leaf parcels with some stuff. It looks like some step-by-step -step photos. Divinity. I don't even know what that means. What is that? It's a, it's a candy. Ooh, divinity candy. We also have different sauces that you can find in the very back, plus some of our main ingredients here. So this cookbook is a lot of fun, really approachable, a lot of cool vegetarian, plant-based recipes, or I guess vegan. Um, so this is Mission Vegan by Danny Bowian. If you are looking for some more vegan cookbooks, we have a ton on our playlist, so keep watching over on our vegan playlist uh, over here. And you can join us on our socials, which is listed down in the description down below at Cookbook Divas. If there is a cookbook you want us to look through next time, give us a comment. Make sure to subscribe if you do love cookbooks, and we'll see you next time.